Lads, ladies, anything in between, how are you doing on this fine evening? Just when you thought things couldn't get any worse, we are again talking about Pow Envy. Pow Envy? Is that his name? Pow Envy? You might think, what's an, a grown man playing robot? Well, that's a very serious question and once again, something we should probably speak to his therapist about because it's someone who needs to, well, go to the dentist and, uh, well, clean his teeth by the look of it. I mean, Jesus, that's terrifying. To oh, God damn, what is that? A beast. Oh God, I'm actually dying. But I made a video on him. Basically, he's the dirtiest little minx we've ever had to uh, endure on the internet. Not only does he not wash, he cleans his room never. Zero times. I'm not going to pretend I'm some clean god sent from heaven, although I am a god sent from heaven. I might just not be the cleanest, but I still am tidy. Things organised, put in place where it belongs. Oh boy, has he changed the game. His room's disgusting, he's got animals, creatures running around, eating mouldy foods that he's left out. It's truly a sight for sore eyes. However, he's taken one step out. He's now insulting the very woman that popped this guy out. Not only is she probably thinking, god damn, I wish I didn't have this kid, once realising he's playing and streaming it. You're probably now realising, God damn, I just wish I never had this kid at all due to his goddamn attitude, man. This guy stinks. And I'm not just talking literally, although he probably does as well. So, what we're going to do is we're going to endure this video together. As you can see, he had too many bed bugs growing in his hair, so he had to shave it off, uh, get rid of the nests. That was the only way to do it, unfortunately. That's what happens when you don't wash your hair, lads and lasses. Take care. So, let's go see what Mumsy thinks and get, uh, you know, a day in the life of a Roblox streamer's mum. How amazing must that be as a job title? Day in the life of a Roblox streamer's mum. Firstly, wow, can I just say? Or at least that's what this video was supposed to be. But then she started asking me about rent money, and I don't want to pay rent. Like, my room's not even that large. So we got a 20 year old, or however old he is, I think he's like 19, complaining that he doesn't want to pay rent, okay? Even though he's living like a leech in his parents' house, literally like a leech, a bloody maggot living in a room. Just look at what we've paused on here. Bags of food, clothes strewn over the place. It can't be that expensive for me to live here. I got these VR base stations and I can- It can't be that expensive for me to live here. VR stations, three keyboards on the floor, five monitors just strewn about, lights, camera action, so much food. I hardly even play VR because my room's not big enough. But I am moving out on the first, so it's not really that big of an issue for now. He's moving out! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Now let's get something straight. There's nothing wrong with living with your parents. I lived with my parents for a very long time. I'm 21. I've only just left now, you know. Nothing wrong with living with your parents. Actually, it's quite financially good. It means you can save for a house and don't have to pay greedy home landlords cash. However, you should not take them for advantage. Obviously, when you're a kid, you take your parents for advantage. That's just life. When you're literally living there as a little rascal or a little mouse in the corner, eating like a Piggy Wilson. Piggy. Throwing, leaving cans of shit everywhere and complaining that your room's not big enough to pay rent. That boy deserves a slap. If I was your brother, I'd beat the shit out of you and then I'd take your braces off permanently. I'd just pull them off and say, you're not having nice teeth, son. Now, um, I am getting my own place. That way I can have a better place to live. And I'm a better place to live. What a scumbag. Just be grateful. This is infuriating me. I hate it. It's like when you know you walk in the supermarket and you see like kids. They have their AirPods in while they're with their parents and they're just not listening or paying any attention to them. That shit sees me. Like, bro, have some fucking decency. Have a little bit of respect. Now, don't get me wrong. I was a little shit as a kid. You still are. But I'm trying to make up for it, son. You gotta try do the right things. I mean, that's why I'm not really picking up anything. Look at this Denny's yucky. Oh, look at that. Yucky. He describes it as yucky. Fucking grim. <laughs> It's literally grown a brain. It's turning into a zombie. Bongus. But I'm not really picking up anything right now because... I oh, moving out. God. It really it's got a pot noodle there. Look at that. <coughs> oh, Jesus Christ, that's disgusting. What the fuck is wrong with this individual i mean i wish it was you were able just to arrest people on a whim and just say fuck you bro you're off to prison because this guy deserves to belong in there he does not deserve any access to the internet he doesn't deserve to play robot he doesn't deserve a mum. don't deserve a room he should just be living in a prison cell on his own with his fucking retainers now you might think i'm being a bit mean a bit tight oh he's a kid it's not a kid all right he's an adult playing roblox nothing wrong with that but when you're an adult playing roblox and your room looks like that that's when we got a serious situation that's when you deserve to be put in prison arrested for your crimes it's absolutely baffling i'm actually gonna like headbutt the wall in a minute i'm that infuriated all that much this used to be a cup of ramen oh god i don't know what you'd call it now it's like a weird mac and cheese i spilled that coffee on the pokemon card which was a total l 
But like I said, I am moving out, so cleaning isn't really my priority. I'm moving out, so cleaning isn't my priority. This guy's off his head. Let's be serious about that. He is off his noodle. He thinks he's living there. He is the best thing since he sliced bread. And really, he's a little loser who plays Roblox and takes the piss out of his mum because she wanted a bit of help on the bills and the finances. And now you probably think this might be a joke, but I don't give a fuck, all right? I hate this dude, and it epitomizes everything wrong with civilization and why we should probably, half of this population, including myself, should have remained in our father's ball sacks. I did pick up a new mattress. It'll be delivered to the house. Um, last thing though, stop asking me if you guys can have my keyboards. Yes, these are both like Apex Pro TKLs and stuff, but I spilled coffee. Oh God, he's put his dirty toes on him. You wouldn't want them anyway. Uh, please stop asking for these. Uh, actually guys, you can have them here. Look at them. And he just starts tapping them with your feet. I'll be like, bro, I'm not getting fucking AIDS. Can you, you can keep them. Fuck that. No one wants them. They need to be thrown in a biohazardous container and exploded like in fucking Monsters Inc. When they have to, you know, jump down like the agents and like, <laughs> special explosion. That's what needs happens to that shit. And you know, fuck it. Why not? Do him at the same time. On them, they're completely dead. Don't work. So... Oh, look, put your feet on them. They're not plugged in, mate. What is the point? Anyway, bye. Ugh. In conclusion, people like this do not deserve to be able to breathe the same oxygen as all. You might think I'm being slightly dramatic, but I promise you I'm not. I'm a very reasonable, sensible man. That might be a lie. I'm very unreasonable, and I am quite off the rails, off the scales. My mind is not connected well to the uh, power unit. Let's put it like that. However, neither is this, guys. Look at what we have to embear and witness and see whilst taking part in this. He's got animals, rodents, cockroaches, a Kylo Ren lightsaber, which I think is kind of cool. But it doesn't change the fact he's an absolute grub. Imagine what his room's going to look like when he lives on his own. Mummy and daddy ain't there to clean up for him. And instead, he'll have moldy food and plastics and shit everywhere. We'll literally have roaches. Like, I feel sorry for the mum. Like, surely you'd raise your kids better and be like, this is not how you treat things and look after things. But look, in conclusion, people like this do not deserve the light of day and do not deserve a platform and i'm not saying i deserve a platform however i deserve a platform no i don't all i'm trying to do is just point out that people like this are a serious burden on society i mean what is he doing a lot of people might have called me leafy i don't know if that's the biggest insult or compliment ever however i am not leafy it's queefy all right i am my own man I just enjoy watching people who are idiots, and this guy is an absolute mong of a human being who, unfortunately, we have to witness on the internet. You might think, don't watch it. It's everywhere, bro. This guy's a literal meme. No one likes him, but yet everyone knows who he is. How does someone so disgusting and ravenous? Well, that's why, because he's disgusting and ravenous and lives like a fucking chimpanzee shitting on the floor. I bet he's got a bucket in the corner where he takes a piss. I guarantee that's what he does. He eats fucking ramen like that and then leaves the bottom to see how much mold you can get spills drinks or whatever he said a coffee i think on his floor doesn't clean it up so that when he leaves mum's now got to clean it up and she he's ruined the carpet for it i mean just no respect you know what i mean respect where you live respect your surrounding these parents well you love them but you know when you're younger you don't treat them the way you should a loved one you just don't it's weird but when you're older you should this guy's a grim weirdo who puts his feet on keyboards and you know he's got a very beautiful mum i mean he's he's got a lovely mum end roblox terminate it or have an age limit so that only people over 8 can play it. If you play it over 12, you're either a nonce or you are just a little bit brain dead. I can't use the word I would say because times have changed, but you know the word I mean. Brain dead. More brain alert. Disgusting human being. is back. Let's end his career here. R.I.P. Oh, God, it generally infuriates me. But thank you. God bless your soul. Thanks for listening. Stay away from mold. Oh, spit this fire. No, seriously, though, thank you so much. Leave a like. I want to comment. What do you think of this guy, honestly? Do you think he's just harmless and I'm being a, a crazy man and making a big deal out of nothing? Or do you think this is seriously a plague on society? I think the latter. Thank you very much.